There's three methods of bringing background music into Vocheer. Via a VO6, which allows for six inputs of background audio, via a Cobranet input, and via the Vocheer VA4030E and 2060E enhanced amplifiers via their analog inputs. The VO6 and the Cobranet inputs can be used by any zone within the world for background audio. However, local inputs are confined to the local outputs of the same amplifier. Let's begin by adding a VI6 to our project. Let's name this VI6 BGM input. Let's name the inputs BGM1, Radio1 and iPod. Since we have three input sources, I'll go ahead and disable the others. If we open the world properties, the VI6 background channels are available to be assigned to zones. For level 2, we'll assign all VI6 inputs to be available. Further down in the world properties, there's the Vocia CN input section. Here we can create a receiving bundle by selecting New. The bundle is created and automatically assigned a bundle number. Now we've created the bundle, we need to enable the channels we want to use. The reason the bundle number is automatically assigned is throughout Vocheer, Cobranet is used for paging. To avoid conflicts, this bundle number is statically assigned and placed on a reserved list. Vocheer supports a latency of 5 and a third milliseconds, so the transmitting device must be configured to use this latency. Since Vocheer uses Cobranet for its paging, the more Cobranet inputs we enable, the less simultaneous pages available in the system. If we switch back to the Zones tab, you'll now see our VI6 inputs as well as our Cobranet inputs available. For Zone 1 I'm going to enable both Cobranet inputs. Let's add a new zone. You'll notice in the Zone properties there's an option to enable and name a local input. One input is available per amplifier channel on the VA4030E and 2060E amplifiers. Unlike the VI6 and Cobranet inputs, a local input won't appear in the list of available background channels. Since we only require the amplifier to supply one zone with audio, we'll go with the VA2060E. As we've done in the past, I'll give the device a name and configure its ID. We need to send the configuration to the amplifier before we can select the source and adjust the volume in the foyer. We can make these adjustments in the World Properties Audio and Live Control tab. As you can see here, the zones we assigned in the World Properties are now available in the Control Zone selection. As you can see for the foyer, the local input is available. In addition to the software control, we can add a wall remote. Add a WR1 and open the properties. Name and assign the device ID. Select the foyer zone and the available background channels list is shown for the audio input sources configured for that zone. The list is a selection that will be shown on the physical remotes display. Now all that needs to be done is a send configuration and the user will have a selectable background music in the foyer, entirely controllable via the wall remote. 